Yo, what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Cooper Cousin. How y'all doing today? Oh, everyone's having a great day and not trying to make it a good day. But anyways, man, this video right here is for people that just started my team. So if you, if you didn't just start my team recently or you don't need tips, if you've been playing the game for a while, I don't think you're going to need any tips on this. But, you know, it never hurts to look and stay and see it and find out. But anyways, let's hop right into it. So if you just started into my team, you don't have the auction house unlocked yet, so you can't go buy these opals or look at them or, you know, get any cards off the auction house. If you need to raise that collector level up, the easiest thing to do right here is go play triple threat offline with, like, you know, um, let's say, let's say you start off with a gold, let's say you get a emerald, uh, we'll do a, let's say you get an, a sapphire, uh, Oh, actually, I have an idea. Let's say you get a starter, starting, like, you know, starting card in the game. Uh, Vince Carter, because you get that pack. Use him and use, like, two gold players that you have. Because they should come with gold players, no doubt. And try to use a big man gold player or something like that. You can see I'm going to use Mo Bamba right here. So run this team and play Triple Throw offline for an example. Don't run this exact team, of course. But run Triple Throw offline and make some tokens. Once you make some tokens, come over to there. Once you, Try to make like 24 tokens so you can open some of these Lights Out packs. And uh, by the way, you could also make a pretty good team. You could get lucky and pull a Pink Diamond Pager, a uh, Diamond KD, uh, Amethyst Gilbert Arenas, uh, or an Amethyst Ray Allen. Not the greatest cards, but you could definitely do something with them, no doubt. So yeah, try to do that. And then, when you open a pack, it comes with shoes and jerseys. Shoes, uh, if I have any shoes, I don't have any right now. You come down to shoes and quick sell them. So there'll be a way to t click on them. So like, let's say do I have a jersey, I can quick sell. So you click on it and hit sell for 350 and then hit yes. Except only on shoes. Then once you get, I think, 10 cards, if you can just open a couple of those packs, you'll get some jerseys. Which, uh, you'll get some of these jerseys, which is pretty good for me, because, uh, you can really raise your collector level for pretty easily by simply just doing that. And once you do unlock the auction house, you should have a little bit of MT stacked up, because you can't spend it yet. But once you get to the auction house, if you make a little bit of MT, what I do is, um, snipe. Really simple. Uh, I'm just going to do one little snipe filter that's, like, not the best, but it's not the greatest. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. As you can see, a gold player, for an example, on your team could be good. But only cards you pick up is Sapphire and above on this filter. Unless, uh, silver. Silver. Uh, so you pick up silver, sapphires, uh, emeralds, gold. Or not golds, but uh, you get the point. As you can see, people are on this filter pretty good, or like pretty uh, consistently. This filter, you can see opals, pink diamonds, diamonds, amethysts. You can pretty much see any card sellable in this video game on this filter. Uh, I've seen opals on here before. So yeah, make sure to uh, try to snipe on this filter. But you got to get good at sniping. So if you're not good at sniping yet, uh, if you've if you never sniped before, if you're new, you're not going to know what sniping is. Basically, sniping is trying to buy a card for cheap that, uh, you sh that shouldn't be 600. As you can see, I'm going to pick up that silver, which I don't get them. That's tough. Tough scene. But uh, sniping is basically like uh, picking up a card that's worth more than it's, or picking up a card for cheaper than it's worth, and flipping in that and making MT, or just sniping a player for your team. Now, sniping. How to practice sniping is to do this. Okay, simple. Uh, ma or minimum or uh, maximum bid, maximum buyout. But don't do maximum buyout. Just do maximum bid. And as you can see, there's going to be something up right there. So just like refresh, and as soon as you see it, just like do that. You don't have to get them, but as soon as you see that, just do that. It'll really practice sniping. It'll help you really practice sniping uh, by getting that like click, like that quick hands, like that. So you'll be able to bid on it quickly. You know what I'm saying? Like that. It'll it'll really help you get those quick hands, and just, that's all you got to do. Except make sure not to buy it out. You can see I'm just bidding on this one. I'm not trying to get them at all. You get the point. But yeah, this is how I practiced sniping back in the day when I first started. It's just re just did this. And this it really helps you get your hands fast. 
But once you get pre like pretty good at the game, and you you think you can compete against like good players, once you get a decent team stacked up, go play some triple there online. You get a ball drop every time you win a game, and if you can win like how um, like if you can get up to those that like final ball drops, you get five and one. And, and the, they have an event going on right now where there's Opal Blake Griffin, Opal Derrick Rose, and Opal Allen Iverson all on the board along with some pink diamonds and diamonds, I think. So basically, if you're not playing that, then you're insane. And they also have another event going right now where every time you do win a game on anything, you get these mystery packs, which I'll open one on stream. You can get a bronze to an Opal. And hopefully I pull something right here. I think I do get a diamond conceivable. That is a really good shoe I just pulled from a free pack. Matter of fact, I want to go see how much that card goes for or those, those shoes go for right now. That is a really good pull, by the way. Look how much MT I just made. Look how much MT I just made. These card this these shoes are so good right here that I just made 20k possibly off these shoes, which I'm actually gonna hold on to them for a little bit. Because anytime you get a diamond three point shoe. It's like one of the better shoes in the game, okay? Every time you get a three-point shoe, a diamond three-point shoe, or a three-point shoe in, like, general, you pretty much just get, like, a fat W. And see, I'll open one more for y'all. Hope maybe I can pull an Opal Jerry Stackhouse or something, which I actually do pull a Ruby player, Patrick Mills. Not If you're just now starting the game, that can help you a lot. He's not a good card, but, uh, He's not a bad card either. You know, I've never actually used this card. But as you can see, if you're just now starting my team, this card could help you out so much. 23 gold badges. He's not like a great card or anything, but he can shoot the three ball, and this could help you, like, build up your team. So go play that triple throw offline and online. Win those games and get those mystery packs and get those free players. I'll open one more because why not? I feel like I've had pretty good luck right now, which I don't pull anything right here. I do pull a silver contract, which is cool. But you can get anything out of these packs. So I did get a good diamond three-point shoe, which I'm definitely going to have to sell later. So that's a fat, fat W for me. Now, you need to build a team for cheap, right? Let's say you have, like, let's say somehow you learn how to snipe and all that. You got 20 KMC, and you buy and resell those cards. But you still don't have, you know, a good team. I can, I can go build you a really good team right now for cheap. So point guard, diamond Dwayne Wade. Shooting guard slash point guard. Uh, so basically, you can like get this card for cheap, 1500 MC, and you can play him at the point guard position. Shooting guard, for on the other hand, you can get somebody like uh, you really get anybody for cheap. That's a good Nicholas Batum diamond card. He's good too. Uh, but just pick up those cards and you can make a good team. Uh, one more thing is tokens. Once you get tokens. <laughs> But once you get tokens, you can come over to the pack market, hit, re hit rewards. You can actually get redeemed emeralds, sapphires, rubies, and amethyst. This late in the game, don't do that and come open these lights out packs. If you open, get some good MT, good, uh, good, you can get a pink diamond, free pink diamond, and all that. I want to just open anything else other than lights out because you make a lot of MT off of those. Now, when you do get those free packs, make sure to log in every single day of the week to be able to spin the wheel and get like free prizes uh tomorrow we get a free pack and you get mt uh you get tokens every day and then at the end of the week you get to actually spin the wheel you can get an opal a diamond uh sometimes they throw on some diamond consumables some tokens some mt you know some good stuff but anyways i hope everyone enjoyed the video smash that like button if you haven't already um also subscribe. All my socials are in the link below. So like go follow me, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, everybody have a good night. Peace.